All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. You may be thinking, Adam, nothing's changed in the shop. And you would be correct. And also, I haven't made up my mind either what we're gonna do. So let's get to this video and talk about my thoughts and ideas and what we're gonna do going forward. So welcome back to the channel guys. Again, I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you guys that subscribed. I think I said earlier in this year, um, maybe I wanted to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're over 4,000, so thanks to each and every one of you guys. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe to this channel, show your buddies, everything else. We do stupid shit, so I don't know, maybe you guys enjoy it. But let's get back to the action. I took a break from YouTube here to spend time with my family and you know I've been busy out here for the last month and a half, two months, just thrashing on this truck, getting the motor done, getting the new injection set up, 60 injectors, dyno, going to Cletus and cars and everything else. So I took that small break. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving as well. Um, and now we want to get back in the shop and get to some action. So I got good news, bad news. We'll start off with the good news first on the death trap. So good news is, as you guys know, the truck runs and drives. There's no issues mechanically with the truck. What we're going to do is we need to drain the methanol out. I have no shut off or anything, so we'll have to drain it up here at the pump. And then we'll have to make a trip to town to get some uh, regular just gas, and we need to put it in the system. Because anything that's touched methanol, any of the injectors, the fuel lines, any of these short runs of lines, they all need something else besides methanol ran through it. Otherwise, we're going to have problems with the fuel system. Because the next event that we know of is not until March 20th, I believe, March sometime maybe, or April. Either way, several months. So we'll get all that drained out, get the regular fuel in there, fire it up. You'll know when the regular gas is coming through and then that'll be the end of that one. Now, somewhat bad news. Just like I haven't done anything out here, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with either exhaust or paint. But I'm gonna make that decision right now. Paint, staying the same. We're gonna leave this the way it is because I'd rather spend my money somewhere else at this point I'm not saying we won't do anything with the body eventually, but for now, it is going to stay the same. And the exhaust, I do believe, I've made my mind up, but I'm going to not say anything because it's, it's going to be a little bit of work to make what I want to do. So I'm going to leave that one for when we get back off of the other project. So that brings us to the next point. What is the next project? I've made up my mind. I read all the comments. Usually, like I said, I try and respond to everyone in the comments. And I read what you guys said, and there was a decision that was made based on something that a subscriber is helping us out with. And that is going to be the F100. So I want to go over a few things, what we plan to do, and what I have for this. And I'll show you guys that stuff right now. So let's start off with the obvious first. Ford F100. It's a 67 short bed. And it has a lot of rust as well. But Jason ordered some floor pans for this thing, so at least we can patch up the floor. We'll see how they work on here. I'm going to get a Crown Vic swap front end kit for this. These were some wheels I picked up. I was honestly thinking that I was just gonna fix this thing and just drive it as a street cruiser, but you know how things change. And now we're planning on going to the open burnout class interior smells like complete old fuel we'll have to do something different in here but yeah definitely uh fred flintstone in this one as well it's a lot worse than mine so we'll uh we'll put the floor pans in this if they work good like i said we'll get an extra set and patch mine up with that and then the back here the box is it's not in the greatest of shape but there's the extra wheels that, like I said, I was gonna put on. Those are five on five and a half. There's my old death trap wheels. And the bed, it's, it's had its fair share of days as well. But all in all, I mean, as far as the exterior of the body, it's in good shape that way. So, you know, you got rocker, rocker doors, stuff like that. But, you know, for being just an old 1967 truck, you gotta take it for what it's worth. Now, I know they showed this before, in the last video but I have this nine inch that came out of the death trap has Mosier 31 spline axles so the plan would be to use this cut off all this triangulated stuff and then I'll get a new kit I've got stuff on the shelf here 
I actually could make a whole frame and everything, but I'm not going to. I've got extra bars and stuff for some, uh, what do I want to say, four link bars. And there's a bunch of other stuff up there for four link kits. And then the main, main objective of this is obviously powertrain. I mentioned in the last video, LS powered. Let the hate comments start down below. I really don't care. It's what I have. It's what I'm going to use. And it's available. So without spending a bunch more money, that's what we're going to go with. So let's head upstairs and I'll show you what we got. So up on my loft here, I've got an array of all kinds of stuff up here. Nothing really of any value. I don't know. I guess I do. But we've got stuff for blower motors. Um, I don't know. I used to work on uh, Chevy Cobalts and HHRs and stuff, do motors. But this is the LS motor that I have here. It's already had, I believe, like a Corvette style intake put on it. And valve cover's painted. It does have a brand new water pump. And some kind of special billet idler pulley, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure all this stuff out when we get it in there. It's got an ATI damper. It already had an aftermarket pan put on it. Hopefully that'll help. I do have a flex plate down there. Yeah, look at that. Nelson mirror image turbos that's for something else i've got a 4l 80e here this one i believe has an ear broke off the other side of the transmission and then also i do have on this side over here i've got an ls1 and a tremec t56 sitting there got another 60 block in the bag there but this is what i was originally going to put in there and street drive it just have a nice you know, power plant in something that you can burn the tires when you want. I don't think I want to use this just because the plan would be, the plan would be to kind of go full send on this truck. So as far as like abuse, and I don't really want to ruin a good LS1 motor. That's just a 5.3. Put some springs and retainers in that. Rever to the moon. We don't really care. I do have, if we ever get to the point, this is going on the uh, blue F100 down there. That's one of the headers. I got one on. These are from Stainless Works. I had those custom made. But I do have a couple turbos here if we, uh, brand new on three performance. I got that. This was actually going to go on that LS motor, this uh, 5.3 over there. And the guy was putting it in a BMW with these on three performance turbos. So we got all that. Got some other stuff up here. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So that is why I'm choosing that. And, well, I shouldn't say that's why, because what somebody's sending us is going to complete the build. I do need to get the Crown Vic front end. That's the only thing. Otherwise, the rest of the stuff is here in the shop. Pull the motor, pull the rear end, start working on the suspension, and that thing would be ready to rock and roll. So that's gonna be the quickest to get us in. And actually, that'll get us in the open class and the rivals as well. Give us a chance maybe win in both classes. I don't know. You know, gotta be a first at something. So we've won the rivals and Oops, knocking stuff down the stairs. And that would get us, like I said, into the open class as well. That'd be kind of neat. So, I think we need to start off first. Watch where I'm stepping so I don't fall down. Let's start off first by getting the methanol drained out of the death trap. After we get that drained out, we will get, like I said, regular gas in there, fired up. And then we can uh, maybe do a switcheroo and get the old F100 here, the red one on the hoist, and see about turning it apart. Enough rambling, let's get to the action. All right, so I've gone ahead and just unhooked the main feed line here. Thought it was just as easy to lift the truck up. It's already on the hoist, bring the drum over here. This is just uh, methanol from our local company here. Uh, Edge of oil, thanks to Paul for hooking us up with that. It's, I don't know, pretty much the same thing as VP, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it's half the price. So we got the motor tuned on it, so we just need to make sure that we're always taking the same methanol to the events. We'll get this hooked back up after it's done draining. That'll get everything from the tank and the box all gravity fed down. So the only thing left will be what's in our lines going to everything. But like I said, we're going to put regular gas in there and start it anyways. And looks like we're done already. So that should be everything out of there. So let's go ahead and hook that back up, get some regular gas, and then I think we're ready to fire it up. All right, filling her up with some straight 87, no ethanol, obviously. Ethanol sitting inside of something is going to cause problems too, so... Let's get, I don't know, a couple, two, three gallons in here, and then we'll be able to fire it up, let that circulate through a bit, and then we'll have to do the same thing. We'll have to stop, unhook the fuel line, and drain this out. Ready? 
All right, I think we're ready to try this. I hope this is the right thing to do. I guess I talked to a couple other people and running methanol. Obviously, like I said, you gotta get it all out of the system. So we'll give her some Mountain Dew juice. Baja Blast even. We'll give her a little squirt of this. I'll set the camera up and we'll fire it up. Ready? Okay. Fire in the hole. Okay, well, I think that ran long enough to get the methanol out of there, and now it sounds like we're at regular fuel. So now we just revert the process. Oh, it definitely smells like methanol. Wow. That stuff is potent. It smells good, though, on one hand. All right, let's drain the uh, regular fuel out of there. Let's get this thing off the hoist, and let's bring over what we need you guys to name for our next project, the next red and white F100. Start it in the comments below, guys. Give us a name. All right, went ahead and got the death trap pushed outside. And I think since this is the last time you're gonna see it for 2020, well, you'll see it in the background, but last time for any videos of the death trap, I think I'll just do a cute little montage of it for you. So let's go ahead and hit the montage. That's gonna be it guys. We're gonna wrap the video there. In the next episode, we're gonna start working on the F100 here. The new F100, whatever you guys call it in the comments down below. We'll pick a name out of them. Somebody actually left a comment, and left a comment in one of the previous videos for a name for this. Kind of stuck, you know? And there used to be a pulling truck that my brother's truck pulled with that had the same name. So I don't know. We'll see what you guys come up with. But next episode, front clip, I think we'll tear that off. Get the uh, baby six cylinder out of there, and the manual transmission. And then we need to locate that Crown Vic front suspension and just start going ham on this thing. I think it'd be nice to get all the interior torn out of this so that way when we get all the scrap, which I'm saying like front suspension, motor, trans, all that stuff out, we can just take everything at one time, kind of like we did with Goliath. And really that should wrap it up. But gotta start somewhere guys. Again, thanks to each and every one of you guys for subscribing, supporting the channel. Want merch or anything? Uh, hit us up. Website's down below. Pick yourself up a shirt. And we're working on new shirts with some of the pictures from Cleas and Cars Florida. Obviously, it made for a good show. I think it'll make for a good shirt. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks again.